right, guys, I want to cut it right here uh, to kind of give you guys kind of a rundown on what exactly happened. So you saw me take off boat number one. Uh, first time that's ever happened in BFL. Kind of cool uh, to be at the front of the pack. Um, but uh, basically, if you guys keep up with my other socials, you saw um, I was going down a lake. I made it to my first spot. We fished there for... I don't know, um, 30, 45 minutes. And I was like, okay, let's get, let's go on over to the main stuff. So fired up, started idling out, got on the gas and, uh, my boat started vibrating very, very badly. And I was like, oh boy, this cannot be good. Took her off plane, slowed down, trimmed up the motor, saw that I had bent an ear on my prop. Well, boys, we got a problem. We got a little bit of a problem. Prior to that clip, I was kind of racking my brain, called the tournament director, trying to figure out what my options were, um, how I was going to get out of this situation because it was a situation. And so I started trolling over to people uh, that were fishing in the area I was in, just begging them for a prop. I was like, hey, man, you got a prop. No one had a prop. Uh, thankfully though, a gentleman, uh, informed me that there was a prop shop, a creek up. So, uh, in Saudi days, there's a prop shop. Dan's, uh, prop shop is the name of the store. Googled it, said they were closed. So I was like, oh no. Called it. Dan answered the phone. I said, you know, Dan, I'm broken down, down here in Chester Frost. Have you got a prop? So Dan looked it up. He had a prop. Um, I asked him if he was going to be, if he would be able to bring me that prop, uh, to where I was at. And he said I, he could not bring me the prop. So then I was like, okay, I got a prop. Now I just need to figure out a way to get the prop to where I'm at. Um, so I, I called around and, um, I saw that right next door was Saudi Custom Tackle. Gave them boys a call. They said, uh, kind of, I explained the situation to them and they were said, uh, yeah, we got somebody that could bring you a prop. So shout out to those guys, Saudi Custom Tackle. Never go through Saudi Days without stopping there. Um, I didn't even catch the gentleman's name that brought me the prop. Uh, he wouldn't even take a dime for, for, for bringing it down there to me. Uh, truly grateful for that. Um, very, very uh, interesting experience all around uh, because I was about 25 miles from the ramp. You know, had no backup. Uh, had no options. This happened around 9.30, uh, 9 o'clock, 9.30. And I got uh, the prop put on at um, about 11.30 is when we got rolling again. All right, we got a new prop. Hopefully it uh, gets us through the day because this one is uh, completely destroyed. Took off to where I was trying to get to. Fish for a little bit, nothing. No bueno. Um, pull up on a point, fire out there, catch a four pounder. I was like, okay, now we're talking. And then, um, you know, a couple more casts, caught another like two pounder, barely keep or fish. I was like, okay, starting to starting to salvage the day. By this time, it's about one o'clock, one thirty. Um, pulled up to another point. And then it's basically where uh, my GoPro footage start. Probably should have.
Yep. Hooked up? Yep. Right, I'm trying to get my bait all here. Yeah. Where you want me to knit it from up there? Shit, no! <laughs> oh god! What? Oh no. What happened? <laughs> I was just freaking. What was you thinking? Backlash. Uh oh. Man, that's a fat sucker. That's a three pounder probably with that kind of good. You want to grip like five miles off this spot. Sorry. All right, guys, so once I uh, kind of caught those two fish there and uh, kind of ran out of time. Um, it was a short time, had about a 45-minute run. I was still kind of nervous about letting that new prop kind of go full throttle, but, um, you know, we fished hard. We did the best we could. We ended up with about 11 pounds, 11.4, something like that. Um, ended up getting 30-second spot one of the last checks uh so at least i got a little something back towards that prop um you know it was a tough day but i sure would have liked to have those extra two hours but it's the way it goes in fishing you got to adapt you got to overcome and uh you got to go on to the next one keep on rolling y'all take care peace well, did you have fun today richard no as much fun as i could have had i guess <laughs>